Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Rare. Today we're doing the Morrow vs. DC Loki Befallen Misfortune Cocktail. Now, this is actually the second part of a post I created on my my Facebook page called from the whole You Create the Series event, Marvel vs. DC. The original one was Dr. Fate, Chosen by Fate. Create that. You definitely, if you haven't tried it yet, go back, try the episode. Try the cocktail. You'll love it. But this is actually the second part. This is the villain that Dr. Fate goes against, creating the whole Marvel vs. DC concept. Now, this whole idea is something I created because I was, like, constantly creating episodes, constantly creating different cocktails and series and everything. I was like, you know what? It's, like, it's a lot. I have 400-plus cocktails I created. I wanted to get some input. I wasn't going to get much input, but I had tons of output for myself. So by getting some of the input from the fans, I said, you know what? You create the series this time. I'll give you an idea. I'll give you a concept. A Marvel versus DC. You create the cocktail. I will design the cocktail, but you create the series of that event. So this is actually what spawned a three-parter. It's a third time, three times I did it. A you create the series event, which I loved. It brought so many people into my site. It got so much content. It's, it was fun to do. That's something I want to do again. I just got to think of like what I want to make it based off of. Maybe Warcraft. Maybe, I don't know, um, Halo or just different whatever. Something to bring the input from the fans out. So that way I can have them design who it's going to be, what the cocktail is going to be about. And I design the cocktail. It's a lot easier on me, and it's fun to do because it's like just seeing the different inputs that everybody has. It's interesting. I'd love seeing what you guys have to say. But this is actually the two-parter of that Marvel vs. DC particular post. The Loki Befallen Misfortune. The reason why it's called Befallen Misfortune because Loki, the god of mischief, he has a lot of mischief. When they have mischief, he has a lot of misfortune. It's Befallen Misfortune. There's your misfortune, Bacardi 151. And otherwise, very calm. I mean, this is like your highest proof at like 80 proof. So it's a very calm cocktail, but that brings so much extra bite on that cocktail. There's your misfortune. But let's show you how this is made. Now, this is going to be a shake and strain because obviously using juice, you want to help blend it very well. Glass. Yeah, that's good. First thing you want to do is take your rum. You want to do one ounce of that. You want to take Benedictine, it's also going to be an ounce. Now the reason why I chose Benedictine originally, he's a Norse god of mischief. He is one of the oldest gods. Well, Benedictine is one of the oldest liqueurs out there, hence why it's chosen for this cocktail. So you want to take one ounce of that. It's got a lot of flavor. And then you want to take one ounce of blue carousel. And then you want to take half ounce of your 151. You don't want to do much more than half ounce because it gonna burn otherwise. I can't skimp on the 151. Then you want to take on top of that, add three ounces of orange juice. Because for one, you got to help balance out all this alcohol you're putting in there. And 
I'm going to take one ounce of pineapple juice. Huh, for once, I was able to open that without splashing back at me. But I can't do that again. Maybe it's that bad can. I don't know. But then you would take that, shake it up. Yeah, that's a pretty good seal. Look, you didn't want to let go. So you want to take that, pour it into your highball. Now, the reason why I chose green, obvious reasons. What's the primary color Loki has other than a little bit of yellow? Green. So, it's a green cocktail. There you have it. Marvel vs. DC, second part of the first matchup, the Loki the Fallen Misfortune Cocktail. See how it tastes. Wow. It's been a while since I tried this, obviously, because it's one of my original series. It is a blast of flavor. It's good, but so many different flavor notes you're getting. You're getting the, uh, it's actually been a while since I tried this stuff, Benedictine. But that stands above all that. You're getting so many herbal qualities with this. You are getting the pineapple juice. Even that one ounce, you're definitely getting a little bit of that, that tropical bite to it. The orange juice definitely stands out because you got bluegrass on and everything else. But the Benedictine, different herbs, I think it's like, was it 42 herbs or something like that? It's a lot. I know that. Yeah, 27 different herbs. So you're getting 27 herbs in one drink on top of everything else. So you're getting a lot of flavor out of this. It's pretty good. But nothing is surprising. Hence one of the reasons why I call this Befallen Misfortune. You don't get any of the burn on the 151. The 151 kind of just like stands in the background. It's the one person is like hiding, it's like, Hi, I'm here, don't forget me. But you're gonna sit there and drink this stuff, be like, oh, That's fine. But at the end, that 151 is gonna hit you, it's gonna hit you hard. You're gonna have that misfortune come to you pretty damn quick after drinking this. But you're getting so many flavors, it's a very sweet flavor to it, too. It's a it's really good. And I'm getting text messages now. But it's a really good cocktail. It's definitely something I suggest you try. But definitely check out the whole Marvel vs. DC series. Because one of the very first ideas I had when I created the first You Create series event, the whole concept is, if you remember back in the 90s, they had something called the Amalgam Comics. It was just a joining of different characters from Marvel and DC. It's kind of like, it's an amalgam. Amalgam means a complete meshing of joining of two different things into one. Like, for instance, you had Dark Claw. Dark Claw was Batman and Wolverine meshed into one character. It, it Basically, the whole concept of the amalgam, their characters are very similar. Whoever's going to fit those together. So, obviously, Batman and Dark Claw. Now, when I created this series, I didn't really want to keep the Amalgam idea because there's, like, so many people don't know Amalgam. Now, obviously, people around my era might know it, might actually understand it a little bit more, but I wanted to keep the idea of Marvel characters or DC characters going against DC villains and DC or Marvel heroes or Marvel villains. So you're going to have that complete balance of one to another, two different companies creating an initial effect. It's something I definitely would love seeing again. I would love to see Marvel characters in DC. I would love to see a resurgence of the Amalgam. The concept was really good from a member, but surprisingly the comics aren't really worth as much as you think they would be because of the nostalgia factor. 
because like Dark Claw, um, I can't remember very many other ones from that, but you had like a, you mentioned had Wonder Woman and Storm, I believe, and there was like Spider-Man and Superboy, but there were so many mashups. You even had one with Ghost Rider and uh, Speed Demon, I think his name was, or maybe that was the name of the character, it's called Speed Demon, but basically there's like two different characters mesh into one. I love the idea. So I created the Marvel vs. DC, which was the first you create the series event. And then I made two after that, which are the Mortal Kombat and the Magic the Gathering. But this is something I definitely want to do again. I love the concept of the you create the series event. I love the input that I got from it. Something I never tried on my site, well, as far as the YouTube site, something I really would love to try to see how the input will come about when I actually decide to put it on there to see what people think. I'd be a simulcast of that in my Facebook page, trying to get things out there. But if you would like to see the Marvelous DC or the You Create the Series event again for whatever subject matter you would like to see it in, let me know. Let me know in the comments below what type of things you'd like to see made that way. Be it World of Warcraft, be it uh, classic movies, be it, like, even sports. Maybe, like, like maybe uh, baseball against football. Or something that's completely two separate things you just want to create completely one out of. Whichever you think is the best. But let me know. Comments below. Like our page. Subscribe to our channel. Donate on the Patreon account. But as always, drink responsibly.